Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to reinstall Casa OS from the command line. So, a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So, we're going to start on the Big Bear uh, scripts. Um, because I made a script to automatically run and then you uh, reinstall Cos OS. So I'm going to go into reinstall Cos OS right here. And then this is how you run the command, but I'm gonna go into run.sh. And then, so we're gonna start with bin bash. And then we're gonna set a, var a variable for the log file. And then it, it, it'll be stored in the current directory of wherever you're running the script. And then the config file will be etc cost os and the gateway dot ini. So we'll need to store that in the in the variable of config file. And then the intro text right here. And then the check permissions. So we're going to check if the user has root access. Then we're going to check if the internet is up. And then um, we're going to uninstall cost os right here. So we're going to run Casa OS uninstall command. And then if it doesn't run, we're going to say error uninstalling Casa OS. And then, um, so we're, we're going to run a install Casa OS now because this will be running the curl command to install it again. And then we're going to, uh, to have user feedback and re reinstallation completed successfully. And then we're going to check for the configuration file. If it doesn't exist, we're going to say error configuration file does not, uh, uh, file not found. And then we're going to store the port. And then we're going to get the IP address from host name and then a dash uh, uppercase I. And then now we're going to output the info into local IP address is IP address. And then the port number is port and then access in browser at this URL right here. So, and then we're gonna have a main function and we're gonna put all these functions that I just explained into the main and then we're gonna run the main. So, that's how a little bit about the reinstallation script that I made. So we're gonna go back to reinstall cost OS right here and then we're gonna run the command. So we're gonna copy the command right here and then we're going to SSH into our COS OS and run it. So now we will SSH into our COS OS, like I said. And we're going to paste in the command. And we're going to press return or enter. And then it comes up with the intro, uninstall COS OS, and reinstall COS OS. So do you want to uninstall COS OS? I'm going to say yes. You can say no if you want to cancel out the script. So now th this script will delete the containers you no longer use in the COS OS configuration files. This script was made by Icewell because it's uh, starting up the COS OS uninstall. So this th this script was not made by me because I'm running multiple scripts in this. So now I'm going to press Y. Uh, you you can have you, you can say no if you want to preserve the containers or Y for yes. So now you want to delete all the images. So this is going to delete all the Docker images. You can say yes or no to this. So I'm going to say yes. Do you want to delete all the app data of COS OS? So this is going to clear out the app data folder. So you can say yes or no. So I'm going to say yes. And now it's starting to delete the containers. And now it's going to uh, run checks and it's going to get a Docker version. It's installing the, uh, the services.
So now it's starting the ser uh, services right here. And now it's complete. So re re reinstallation has successfully completed. So you can go into access in the browser right here, and then you can get to, to your freshly uh, made Casa OS. So now we're going to go back into our Casa OS, and you're going to paste what you copied in the script. So I'm going to run it, and um, I'm going to go to the website. So now you can go and start the install again. So you can put in your password in. And then um, I make sure you remember this. And then now create. And then now it's back up and running. So I just went over the script that I made for reinstalling Casa OS. So it makes it really easy to get a fresh Casa OS pretty fast. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go on Big Bear Community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.